All right, so let's take our newfound knowledge of how cool and easy and fun Bootstrap can be. Uh, I'm going to click on Components because now I want to show you how easy uh, forms can be. So I'm going to click on Forms and scroll down and see what we have in Forms. Wow, those are really pretty looking forms. And so this, this one can be a little bit more uh, verbose as far as what you need in order to create a form. In other words, we don't just have the word form and then the label and input. Now you actually have to put some things and enclose some your labels in um, like this particular label and input box is all enclosed in this div form group. So it can, it's a little bit more, there's a little bit more code, but again, you're just copying and pasting. So it's not entirely that big of a deal. So let me scroll down a little bit more. So there's examples of lots of different types of controls that I might be able to utilize. Well, I like the email and I like this drop down or the select box. So I'm just going to copy all of this code out of curiosity and I'm going to put it into my, um, into my HTML document. Notice again that I'm putting everything inside my div class container or cast container fluid. We saw that in another example. So I'm going to control V and put all of that form data here, refresh my page, and I have a nice looking form, fantastic, that I'll fill in with my own data. Um, I just wanted an email and a, and a drop down, so these two don't seem really pertinent to what my goal was. So of course I can just erase those. Make sure that you erase the whole div. Remember that this entire div is part of that select group, so I need to, if I'm going to get rid of this uh, multiple select that I have to delete the div that's around the parent div that's around the lit the label as well as the select control so I'm going to delete all of that same scenario for this particular div I don't want that uh, text area so I'm going to delete that now I have just the two that I want okay it's getting better I um, think I'm interested in a checkbox though so I'm going to go back to my forms and scroll down uh, I'm going to make this bigger so I can see my list at the top, the left here. So there's form controls, fantastic range of checkboxes and radios. That seems interesting. Uh, default stacked or inline. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to click on checkboxes. And there's an example of checkboxes that are stacked. And here are some radio buttons that are stacked. And oh, I like this checkboxes that are inline. All right. So guessing that there's class form check. This is also has form check, but because we have an additional class associated with this particular element called check inline, that must be what's forcing these side by side. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, well, I only need two of them, so I'm just going to take two of those to copy and paste and put those into my Hello World example, and we'll see how we do. So I'm going to make sure that I'm including them in the form because this is all part of my form and I need to put those inside there. There we go. And now if I save that and look at my code, refresh that, then I should also have some nice checkboxes. Fantastic. So you can see how things can, um, you know, you can, you're not, you don't, you're not held to exactly the way they word things. You can make your own as well. Um, so let's see, maybe I need a button. So I'm going to click on button. Oh, yes. So I have these cool buttons and virtue of the fact that this is button primary. That's what makes this one blue. This one says button secondary. Fantastic. Uh, I think I'll just choose one of these. And I'm going to copy and paste that into my hello world as part of my form. Oh, that must that's going to look great, right? So let's go back to my form and see how we're looking. Okay, so does this look like most uh, forms that you see on the web nowadays? Probably pretty standardized because that's the whole point, that Bootstrap is helping us standardize a lot of uh, internet, not only the coding, but also what our users are seeing. All right, so uh, I would encourage you to play with, I'm going to go back to forms, and you can scroll down and play with some of these other things that you find on here. So again, just getting comfortable with the documentation and how it's laid out and recognizing that everything is pretty well class-based should give you the ability to create some really pretty looking forms.